Oh well, there were eight goals scored on the weekend, but the most important one was probably uh, your first A-League goal. Uh, I'd like to think that, but um, it was good to get get so many goals in that game, and to get to get my first one in a 8-2 game was, was pretty special, yeah. Yeah, and run me through like what you kind of saw in the lead up to the goal, because um, I guess it was like a step over from David Williams. Did that catch you by surprise at all? Yeah, I didn't expect it to come all the way to me, but um, I kind of gave him a shout, and he left in. It's kind of open goal for me, so I should have scored, and I was lucky to be with my right foot, yeah. And so. uh, explain the celebration, uh, how long have you been thinking of that one for? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking of the celebration for a while. So, um, when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of Italian football, and I don't know if you know, Francesco Totti used to do that celebration a lot. So, I was like, I like that celebration, so yeah, I did it, and I got a bit of stick about it though after, so. Yeah, some people thought maybe it's because you're the, the baby of the team. Yeah, Louis Fenton told me that. But um, yeah, I'll take that. Baby of the team. Yeah, and you've obviously started out at like centre back. Um, have you like kind of in terms of like reshaping your game to get to the point where you're now scoring goals in the A League? Like, how much work kind of goes on in terms of yeah, the attacking side? Yeah, I think um, I'm good going forward. Um, I've always had that in my game. I like to go forward, so being able to play left wing back, get up and down, also defend as well, but also attack. I think that's helped me a lot. So yeah. And uh, just one more for me to do this. I feel like a bit of a monkey off your back. It's been a uh, long time coming, that first goal. Yeah, like I said, I got a lot of stick for not being not scoring, but um, I like to think that I can get more than Louis Fenton by the end of the season. So um, that's a bit of healthy competition for me. So, yeah. Just on the same vein of monkey off the back, was it quite nice to get that win? Because it was a bit of a run where it was either draws or, or losses, wasn't it? Yeah, we kind of need that win for top four. And now, now we've got that top four, we've got a cement in. Hopefully have a good run until the end of the season and get another three points this weekend. Incredible 7-0 before even the hour mark. Do you mm. kind of remember being on a football pitch with that kind of that happening? Yeah, maybe seventh grade back back when I was playing for Island Bay. But um, no, it was, it was quite astonishing playing on that pitch when it was 7-0, yeah. It's, you often find uh, you know teams up the table, even when they go and travel to the lowest ones, it, something doesn't quite click. Uh, you know, it's often scrappy 1-0, 2-0 games. Mm. So what was right going into the game to get you guys clicking that well? I think the coach really told us to be not complacent and have our heads nice and firm and put the, put the foot on the throat and be very eager to score and make sure we get every goal and keep going, yeah. West Sydney, obviously this weekend, they got you pretty bad early on in the season, even at, at, at home. So what would it mean to, to get them back for that one? I think we've just got to have the same mindset, be able to go there, get another three points, and it's ours to lose, yeah. And you mentioned you got that win got you into the top four. Is that the, the minimum now that you guys are setting as a benchmark, top four? I think, you know, I think there's Melbourne victory ahead of us. We can catch them, you know. There's, only, there's six games to go and we can always catch them. So we're always looking up and behind us, yeah.